Hi, not you, Dad, okay? This is my review on 2011's The Muppets movie called The Muppets. So, the movie's about these two brothers. And, um, they grew up loving Muppets, and, uh, I guess it's facing sort of an alternate modern time because the uh, Muppets don't exist. The uh, Muppets don't, uh, haven't uh, put on a show in years. And this barely has anything to do with the Muppets. <sighs> until Kermit the Frog comes up on screen, but that doesn't even happen until the halfway point of the film, I think. Or until we're like 30 minutes in the film. And, uh, A. Adams, that's his teacher, has several fantasies about, uh, of, um, of, uh, of Jason Siegel leaving his brother and ditching his brother and, uh, marrying, uh, and, uh, hooking up with, uh, the, the love of his life and, uh, marrying her. her. Anyway, the all three of them find out that the Muppet Theater is going to get it got bought, and uh, the Muppet Theater got bought, and uh, there's not going to be any more Muppet. Uh, there's not going to be more Muppet Theater, I guess. So uh, they go to Kermit the Frog's mansion and run into him, and after after um after Jason Segel throws uh, his brother at an electric fence. And, um, that gets Kermit's attention, and, uh, and, um, they lay the whole situation down on Kermit, and he has a solution, but, uh, he hasn't seen, the uh, the solution is to put on a Muppet show, but he haven't seen, um, the Muppets again because they, um, broke up, and, um, we don't know why they broke up, or because we got a solution, uh, or at all, but, uh, so, but because of it, Kermit's been depressed for you guys, uh, and, uh, because he's had missed his friends, and, uh, the love of his life Miss Piggy for you guys, and they don't even hang out anymore, so, uh, don't keep in contact with each other, uh, but after Kermit sings a song called Pictures in My Head, uh, he suddenly has a change of eye and says that he, he needs to get the Muppets back together, his friends back together to be the Muppets one more time to make raise money to uh, see the Muppet Fair. So he lays down on the news on the, the plan for each Muppet individual. And everyone is on board, and, uh, except for... Uh, everyone's on board to express them, their talent, use their ta character traits again and express themselves with their talented, uh, ex except for Animal. Animal has a little, gets a little bit of a character arc in this. He, uh, apparently has PTSD from, um, from, uh, embracing his animal instincts and, uh, now he's have, has found enlightenment and, uh, has PTSD because he's found enlightenment of not being who he is. So, and at some point, this uh, villain actually uh, backstabs our main villain because he realizes he's just a he's a muppet too, like uh like like uh like uh like his even though he's evil he's he really is a he's a muppet in his heart. So he backstabs him, and uh, the villain, I mean villain. For that uh, the Kermit at went to the went to uh, uh asked to get the sh theater back, and uh, he said no after uh musical number, 
And, um, some pros I like the office, like, because he was just said no instead of getting, going to a musical number and then saying no, because, because, uh, yeah, um, so, Kuruma and Mumpus go back to plan A, instead of asking for the people that he decides to raise the money and try to take back the theater. And this, this girl who's a Muppets fan doesn't have, um, breaks to the Muppets that they don't like a pop play anymore. So, chances are that they, them are uh, raising money for, for the, sh sh raising money for, to get back to the theater wouldn't work unless they have a celebrity. A modern celebrity. So, yeah, um, so Animal comes back during, uh, when, uh, um, Kirk starts playing the song somewhere over the rainbow, and my name is Piggy joins in. She didn't want to join at first because her and Kermit are no longer sing right now. So, but she just like joins uh, joins in the and then all the other Muppets, including Animal, join in, and Animal comes goes back to playing drums again, and there's let's loose. So. Yeah, um, then, uh, so it was over and they still didn't wait, raise enough money to get back to the theater. So, so they kidnapped Jack Black for nothing. Oh yeah, they kidnapped Jack Black and, uh, Fozzie Bear breaks it to Kermit that they kidnapped Jack Black and says, saying it's worse kidnapping Jack Black. Uh, and Kermit goes along with it after... He says kidnapping Jack Black is wrong. So, yeah, the the shows of help receiving way is enough money. Then they realize the uh, and next thing you know, people are outstairs waiting for applying out, out right out of the theater, wait, applying them right after um after Kirk gives us speech about the, that how the Muppets are family and, and they stick together no matter what and that um Jason Siegel went off running uh, and after Jason Siegel went off uh, uh Jason Siegel and uh um his brother goes to a certain race and he becomes an honorary Muppet not Jason Siegel the uh the one who's uh, the one his brother who was a Muppet uh I don't know
then uh, when everyone's uh, uh, applying uh, applying the Muppets, uh, uh, the newest Muppets get uh, uh, is asked by Kurt to join in with them. So uh, he does, and uh, most is going to be. Uh, Kurt points out that most is going to be possible without him. The newest member of the Muppets. So, um, they have one more musical number. Um, Jason Siegel proposes to Eddie Niles and she ends it with uh, another musical number. <laughs> and that's as much of the story as you're going to get because that's that really, it, that's very, uh, that's really, uh, that's really the, all, all the story, that's really as much of the story. Um, I can't. Really, I have some severe nostalgia, to this, but I know that it's not the best Muppet movie ever made. Not even at the time. Even when at the time, I I think parts of it made the made it the best Muppet movie ever made. But the part, but the, there's like this one key element that doesn't make it the best Muppet movie ever made, and that's the fact that it doesn't really has anything to do with the Muppets until you're like thirty minutes in the film because Muppets don't get. And even then, when Kermit does come on screen, the Muppets don't actually become the main focus until, like, the third act of the film, which is, but then a little too late. It's like, you know, I feel like this film was trying too hard to be mature for, for modern audiences, and I felt like it was too hot, trying too hard to, at times, be modern, uh, and, uh, and, um, I don't know, something about that, there's very, uh, the Muppets, uh, don't, I feel like the story, and how it's told, feels like it's, um, well, what I'm trying to say, this is, this isn't, about the time I thought this was like one of the greatest Muppets movie ever made, but it's still not the greatest Muppet movie ever made, in uh, or one of the greatest, I mean, yeah, it's better than Muppets in Space, but that was the least, my least favorite Muppet film, and, um, and, um, had a weaker story, and, uh, this has the weaker, uh, has a much weaker story, but, uh, it's more, uh, more of a, feels more of a love letter in a, uh, comeback for the Muppets. After being absent for so many years. For the public guy, and, uh. I just can't help but feel that there's a better way they could have gone about this idea, this premise. But for what we got, it was it was pretty good. Um, this premise of the, of the Muppets retraining and uh, I also feel like the uh, story doesn't have that much. The story feels also a little too depressing uh, most of the time, like ninety percent of the time. Uh, uh, like it feels like it's lacking that uh self awareness that that people that that you to, uh, that self awareness humor that the Muppets well known for. Like even Muppet in Space had more of that. Self-aware he went. 
of the so that way you don't you don't you don't just like roll your eyes at the film and say this thing is all say and say that the film is desperate to hide try and try to hide like so yeah I personally think this is better than everyone gives a credit for, but I also think it's not as good as everyone gives the credit for at the same time. Like, there's certain elements of the film that's worse than people think it is, and there's certain elements of the film that that is better than people think it is. So, this is like my favorite Muppet film is... Which I, at the time I was really disappointed with this, but I really enjoyed what I was what I was watching because I wanted so much more from the Muppets. I wanted more Muppets. I wanted more Muppet humor. I wanted more self awareness. I wanted more fun, and also a better story. I'm very coward at the moment, and I. Now, the character of is isn't bad for the brand new upcomer, the Muppet upcomer, or for Kermit, uh, but it could have been better for Kermit a lot. I feel like Kermit got the short end of the stick, the most famous Muppet of all of them. It also feels like the vanilla reason why did this because they were trying to, well, get people warmed up to this, um, new Muppet, and, um, and it didn't work because, you know, people love this film. It didn't work for one reason, because I guess no one really likes him. I think that he's bland. Personally, I liked him. Mm. So, I'm giving the Muppets 2011 Muppets, titled The Muppets, a 8 out of 10. It's not my favorite Muppet movie ever made. That goes to the sequel, Muppets Most Wanted, which I will talk about that some other time. Bye.